Sarah Virginia Workshop, and today I'm going to be showing you how to put together the drop leaf cottage table. Table, it's going to come in two boxes like this, and the first step is to simply open up your boxes with a box cutter and check to see if all the parts are there. Okay, so once you've opened up your boxes, you're going to double check to make sure that you have all the parts. In the first box that I opened, the uh, tall skinny box, you're going to want to make sure that you have these two pieces, which will be your two drop leaves, and this uh, large flat piece, which will be the top of your table. For the shorter bulkier box, you're going to want to make sure that you have these two square flat pieces. These two long rectangular pieces with the notches out of them. These two uh, pieces that are packaged with two pieces in each package. These four rectangular bars without the notches in them. Your uh, two leg pieces. Your set of instructions and your bag of nuts and bolts. And you're also going to want to make sure that you have a hammer and a screwdriver on hand. Okay. For step one, we're going to take first, we're going to take one of these leg pieces and lay it down so that the legs are facing upward. And the best way to go about step one is to insert each one of these rectangular pieces in one by one. And you're gonna start off by inserting the two pieces with the notches out of them. And we're gonna do that by first inserting one of the wooden dowels into the bottom holes here. Then we're gonna take one of the rectangular pieces and the side opposite of the notch, we're going to insert one of these camelock nuts so that the screw side is facing outwards towards us. And the open hole with the screws in it is going to be flush with the hole facing outward in the rectangular piece. So just drop that in there and look to make sure that you have a clear hole going through. Next, we're going to uh, Lay it down and put the bottom hole up to the wooden dowel. We're going to want to make sure we have our screwdriver right by us and take one of the bolts and push it through the other side. And make sure that your screw is even with it. Give it a little turn if you need to. And do the same thing with the other rectangular piece with the notch out of it. All right, once you fasten on the second rectangular piece with notches out, you're gonna move on to the plain rectangular pieces. And you're gonna fasten those on the same way as you did with the bottom ones. By grabbing a wooden dowel, a uh, screw, and one of these cam lock nuts again. And you put the wooden dowel into the bottom hole Put the cam lock nut in so the hole is flush again, same as we did on the bottom. Put the wooden dowel through the hole opposite of the cam lock nut. And insert the screw through the hole. Move it in. All right, and now you're just going to repeat this process with the remaining three rectangular pieces. 
Okay, so once you've fastened on all six of the rectangular pieces, you're gonna grab your second leg piece, and you're gonna first take the wooden dowels and then place them in all six of the bottom parts right here. So if you face it upwards, it would be the top, top holes. Then we are gonna lay this in here, making sure that the wooden dowels go in all the holes. Alright, so once you've had this laid in with the dowels in each hole, you're going to start fastening them the same way you did on the other side. So, grab one of your screws and grab your cam lock nuts. You don't need any of the wooden dowels because you already put them in. Drop one of the cam lock bolts right down so the hole is flush. Put your screw through. Grab your screwdriver and screw it in. All right, so once you've fastened in all the screws, the last step for step one is to grab your plastic covers and what you're going to do is take your glue, open it up, squirt just a little bit in the hole, grab a plastic cover, and slide it in. If it won't go in all the way, you're going to want to grab your hammer and just gently tap it in. Not so hard that you dent the furniture, but just nice and light. And you're just going to want to do that on the remaining holes on this side and the other side. Alright, so once you put in all your plastic covers, just flip it upright. And this will be the base of your table, and now you're done step one. All right, to start off step two, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have all your pieces ready. And you're gonna need a screwdriver again, your two drop leaves, and your main table. And you're also gonna need your hinges, which are parts F, and these little screws, which are parts E. And those are all parts you'll need for step two. Okay, to start off, you're gonna to wanna to set your pieces up ready to go. So take the main table part and make sure the side that has the little teeny holes in it is facing towards you. And then you're going to lay it down flat. And then you're going to get the side of the drop leaves that have the little holes in them as well. And make sure the little holes are flush with the little holes in the main part of the table with both drop leaves. Now once you've done that, you're going to want to grab one of your hinges lay it down so the bump of the hinge is facing out towards you and then you're going to want to grab six of your little screws. And then you're just simply going to screw your little screws in. Alright, so once you've screwed down all six of your hinges, you're going to want to grab all eight of your cam lock bolts, which are part G in your, um, in your parts list. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to screw the bolt, the side with the screw on it, into these plastic screw sets in the main part of the table. 
And you're just going to repeat that on all eight of these. Okay, once you have all eight of your bolts set in place, you're just want, going to want to go around and make sure they're all tight by using your screwdriver. Alright, so once you have all eight of your cam lock bolts set in place, you're done step two and three. Alright, for step four, you're going to need some of your wooden dowels and your four extension rails. And what you're going to want to do is place a wooden dowel into each one of the extension rails right into the hole above this roof. Alright, once you have all your wooden dowels set in place, you're going to want to take a hammer and tap it in just to make sure it's set. And then repeat on all four. Alright, so once you have all your wooden dowels set in place, you're going to take it and you're going to set it so that this groove sticking out is laying flat against the inside part of the table. And what you're going to do is set it between this dowel hole and your outermost cam lock bolt. And you're going to want to make sure that the wooden dowel is on the inside part. And then you're just going to repeat on all four. And that's step four. Okay. For step five, you're going to need some more of your wooden dowels. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be connecting the piece you made from step one to the piece that you made from step two to four. And what, how you're going to do that is by taking the wooden dowels, inserting them into the dowel holes on the top part of the table. And you're going to want to make sure this is laying on a flat, sturdy piece of ground. And now you're going to grab the part that you made from step one and turn it upside down. And what you're going to want to do here is make it so these grooves lay right on top of those bars. And once you have it down on the ground, just adjust it so the holes in the part you made from part one are inserted into the bolts. And that's part five. Alright, so once you have the part that you made in part one laying flat against the top of the table, you're going to grab your camel locks and you're going to insert them into the pre-made holes on the inside part of the table. And you're going to do that just by inserting the grooved out part so it's facing down against the, the bolt that should be coming through. And once you get it in place, you're just going to give it a turn and it should be locked in. And you're just going to repeat that for the remaining seven holes. Alright, once you have all your cam locks locked down, you're just going to want to double check that your legs are fastened on. And then flip the table over. Okay, for step six, we're going to be using our remaining two flat pieces. And just grab one piece and make sure you're inserting it on the side that has the drop leaf on it because it won't fit on the other side. And uh, you'll notice that this is a little bit smaller on one side and it's only going to fit one way that you put it in. So just get it at an angle. It's 
slide it in. And just lay it down. And repeat on the bottom. For step seven, you can just uh, dust it off, and get it ready to be used. And there you have your drop leaf table, ready to be folded down, just by sliding these in. Um, there you have it, your drop leaf table.